I am scented fawn, a traveler of the fragrant space-time. Today, I have reached the heart of one of the most beautiful sycamore tree forests, which is located near the springs of the Aroanian River in the mountains of Peloponnese. Take this forest path along with me while I introduce you to five perfumes inspired by this blessed land where nymphs and light will dance the day away and of course enjoy. At this time of the year, which is the transition from summer to autumn, the forest floor has already drawn some fallen leaves, which along with the roots of the trees, create a pretty ochre carpet. To represent this earthy tapestry, I have brought to you Molecule number no. 8, Wooden Chips by Zarco Perfume. This perfume is a very interesting woody and aromatic fragrance with intense, dry and xyloid aspects. I get a shaved tree trunk feeling and a very peculiar and interesting woody saltiness. You know, sometimes when something uh, is very dry, it almost feels salty. So that's, that's the case with this perfume. Its perception is stale and withered and it feels like fallen leaves combined with the root of the trees and also the moist soil or the earth. The perfumer, Zarko Alman Pavlov, has used an old and forgotten technique for creating perfumes, which was used early in the 20th century. And it was about maturing perfumes at an early stage in wooden vessels. So he used this technique to create this fragrance. He also added chips of agar wood inside the raw materials and then remove them. However, this perfume to my nose is not purely wooden. This is where all its beauty lies in, in my opinion. It also bears an interesting ethereal, almost airy and bright aspect which blends with the beautifully decaying effect. And this combination makes this perfume very, very interesting. It bears some resemblances with molecule number one, also in terms of performance, because it sometimes feels like it's there, sometimes it's not there. This is actually not a fragrance, but an experience, in my opinion. Molecule number eight, Wooden Chips by Zarko Perfume. We are leaving behind the dry parts of the forest and we arrive to the green and curvaceously vegetal part of the forest. The water feeds the plants, it moists the earth and mushrooms are about to pop up. For this reason, I have brought to you Tundra or Thundra by Profumum Roma. I only have a 10 ml decan at the moment and it is on purpose that this blend is in this green and bright decan bottle. The perfume begins with a sharp, medicinal and very oily patchouli note of the finest quality. I am not the biggest fan of patchouli, but one cannot help but admire the way the patchouli note is perceived in this exquisite fragrance. This perfume gives me strong vibes of dark and enchanted forests of sorcerers and druids that create herbal blends with mushrooms and uh, other fruits of the earth. It is boldly, very, very boldly vegetal and thick and very oily. 
It is dark and multidimensional, although it has only three notes. You cannot help but take this forest path, even though you know that it may be risky or dangerous. The longevity and projection, as in all perfume romas or in the most perfume romas, absolutely exceptional. Between the wonders of the forest, you can find the groveling and crawling oak moss, which is a type of lichen that grows on oak trees. And for this reason, I have brought to you Nomade by Chloe, the Eau de Parfum version. Nomade is one of the most wearable oak moss perfumes I have tried. It also features the Mirabelle note with the characteristics of sourness and fruitiness. So this Mirabelle note colors in the most vibrant way the bitter smelling oak moss. And exactly because this fruit is fleshy, it balances the dry aspects of the oak moss. But oak moss, while toned down is still present and it offers this beautiful and dry and bitter smelling peculiarity to this perfume. The florals are very discreet and the rose is sweet and very, very delicate. There is also a leathery vibe about this perfume. It is woody and juicy, earthy and vibrant. It is bitter smelling and also resinous. This perfume is a contemporary masterpiece of the Chypre category and it's suitable for all ages. The longevity is around six hours on my skin and I usually get compliments when I wear this. So this is one of the most wearable oak mosses, Nomade by Chloé, the Eau de Parfum version. I may at the moment be a guest of a sycamore forest, but many forests, also many near this region, consist of oak trees and entertain red currants and other red fruits. Thus, I introduce you to English oak and red currant, Cologne by John Malone. This perfume has, of course, as the name suggests, a very distinct oak tree note. But this note is sweetened, colored by an almost caramelized, sweet and sour red fruit aspect. Red currant is a very playful note, a zingy note. It adds a sparkle and a blith kick to the piney facets of this fragrance. It also has rose inside, which feels to me more like a green and peppery agent for this blend. This perfume feels very natural to my nose and this is what I really love about it. I have smelled it on my partner. I said to him initially without knowing which perfume it was that he smells like a forest. So this is a perfume that definitely opens a forest path and you can take it and then also cut some red currants and some red foods while you travel to this forest of your imagination. So this was English Oak and Red Currant Cologne by Jo Malone. Now we arrive in the forest picking season and the fruit part of the forest with Amethyst by Lalique. As you can see, the colors around me change because of the light. I'm shooting in the afternoon. The sun is going down. The light colors the greenness and the ochre leaves in very interesting, various ways. I really, really appreciate that and enjoy it. And I hope you do too, even though I'm a bit blurry. This perfume is rich. It feels thick, full, and loud in a good way though, not loud in an irritating way. 
you are in a forest, you have taken your big nice basket with you and it's time to pick some juicy blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, all the beautiful fruits of the forest. I feel the strawberry in the beginning and then the blackberries and the black currant. There is the invasion of the sharp aspect of the black currant and the black currant leaf with their sharp greenness. But it's it, it is very well blended. I don't think it could feel irritating for someone. This perfume also has some piney facets. Uh, so the forest image is very, very strong. There, there are some qualities I personally associate with the darker side of perfumery, like the woody aspects, the, the black fruits. So all these notes bring me an idea of, of a darker, forest you sometimes feel the amethyst as this is and sometimes you feel it's very bright and innocent and optimistic so it has some very interesting contradictions perfume wise the longevity is very very nice considering the price i think it can shine on the right skin so this was amethyst by lalique at the end of this forest walk and we saluted the beginning of autumn. I really appreciate that I had the chance to visit this beautiful place and share it with you. Until my next video, I send you a breath of fresh air and some forest leaf kisses.